What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So let's talk about Terra Luna Classic, right? I think the reason why we need to discuss this every day is because there's a lot of updates that are going on with like burns and stuff like that. It seems like everything is really at a standstill when it comes to proposals and things being passed and things clearing and, you know, hearing something else, right? We we do things to try and, um, you know, tell the exchanges, hey, this is going to be implemented, this has passed and all this stuff, but it's not going to go anywhere unless we see obviously Doquan, the people that are in charge, decide to change something there and actually make that move. Um, from what I'm understanding, that's exactly what I'm seeing. I haven't seen anything to where, uh, you know, Doquan has come out and said this. I haven't seen anywhere, you know, that anybody within leadership within the dev team uh, is coming out and saying this type of stuff, right? To, to show support for what has passed. So with that being said, I don't want to sit here and wait any longer. You know, I don't want to sit here and, and wait for this thing to get to um, certain levels to where they tell us, oh, well, you know what? Um, it passed, but we're not going to be implementing it. It's not something that I truly believe in. It's not something that I truly uh, want to see, right? So um, I don't like that, right? And we did that with Shiba Inu to where Shiba Inu um, kind of saw, you know, two sides of things or technically like three sides of things. You have Shiba Inu, you have people that support Shiba Inu, then you have the ecosystem devs that are building something on their own. Well, I don't want to see that. We already have something to where uh, Do Kwon has built something on his own, right? Uh, Terra 2.0 and, you know, seeing that with its own use case and all that stuff. And it's great, you know, um, obviously I think that's not the best idea in order to help out UST holders or Luna holders that, that lost a lot of money. Um, you know, but they're doing it right. It's something separate, but what we want to see is the community come together to build some things that could help out. And this is why, you know, you have the Luna, let it burn channel. That's a way of burning Luna Classic from what we understand. If you want to go and subscribe to that, just type in Luna Let It Burn. I believe they have 800 or 1,000 subscribers. So go ahead and check that out. I'll try and link it down below if I remember. But I think I've come up with the best burn idea so far. Yes, there could be uh, you know coins that are created. There could be a lot of different things that's, that um, you know could have a massive impact to what is here. But there are also other ways that people can find entertainment and also still find a way to burn off, uh, you know, coins. So anyways, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, if you guys want to check out some of the links down below, you can definitely check out those links. Um, one of those links being for the Luna Discord group, the Luna Classic Discord group. Um, so if you want to check that out, I am not a leader of that. I am an admin, but if you want to check it out, definitely go ahead. There's a lot of uh, educated people over there and a lot of people that know their stuff. Um, some people with YouTube channels as well that have a lot of great information on updates daily updates on different proposals and uh, where we stand so definitely check those things out and if you want to follow me on twitter at perry 8k you can follow me over there but if we take a look at terra luna classic currently it's at 0.0000568 uh, six, six. It's down 7%. You can see the market cap is at a $384 million market cap, fully diluted, $409 million. Uh, you could see the total supply there is at $7 trillion or $7 trillion supply uh, amount, which is pretty big, right? It's a big supply compared to where they were to begin with, where they were in the hundreds of millions and somehow jumped to the billions, jumped to the hundreds of millions, and then all of a sudden, everything changed and it went to the trillions and the trillions is a whole nother level. It's very difficult to get to that part, uh, to get to that level. So we want to be able to burn off the total amount that's there so that we can get this back to normal, uh, back to normality. And people can say, you know what, um, this is going to get back to a dollar, two dollars or three dollars. And, you know, people can capture some gains. People want gains, especially after what's going on in the crypto market and after they lost so much with Terra Luna in the beginning. Right. Um, so. When I look at Terra Luna here, let's go ahead and check out the overall history of things right you understand that this is the worst part of it understanding that this has risen all the way up to 120 dollars before decreasing you know in like the last month or so um seeing this at 0 0.00025 and creating lower highs and lower lows here finding a way to fall all the way down while the crypto market 
is you know falling as well um now uh, what i did want to look at i did want to talk about was the fact that i have a good burning idea right and i don't think this is the absolute best burning idea i think this is a good one that can keep people's attention now we all know of you know p2e uh, games right where we have play to earn games um and we also have play to burn games and i think what we've seen with shiba inu is that those play to burn games are great as long as you're promoting them but after that you really don't see a ton of activity right because people aren't gaining much from it they're burning something and you know they feel like oh well you know what the next push person will burn it the next person will um play the game and burn off the coin and i don't have to do anything right that's their thought that's their mindset i've played it multiple times but have i gone back to play it um every single day no i haven't if i remember i go back and play it but usually if people are getting some sort of an incentive out of it it usually works so people are saying hey you know what how about you do play to earn games and play to earn games are good because you can earn terra classic and you can see that run up from there well that's always great as well but how does that help with the total supply uh, as it is you know burning well my overall thought and i thought of this in the live stream which i think it could be possible but it just has to be developed the right way and i don't know how to do it um but a p2e game plus a p2b game so i'm not saying that you have to burn off 100 percent of the uh profits or 100 percent of the revenue because revenue should be uh, added to the game to make the game better so I would say, you know, you could do 25 and 25, 25% and 25% leave 50% for everything else, people that are involved, as well as, um, you know, putting money back into the game to develop it into something new or add changes and all that other stuff. Um, and you don't even have to charge for this game. This game could be an app. It could be on the computer. I don't really know how you would fully implement it. Um, but basically it would be similar to you going on, let's say pancake swap and linking your wallet or going on to another place and linking your wallet so that you can play to earn. And then a certain amount also, uh, goes to burning, right? So that would be great if we could see that every single day in the amount that goes through and we can see tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars go through these games every single day to burn um you know burn these coins right and then if you could also have extra skins and all that other stuff that goes directly towards burning the the coins as well this could be something absolutely huge it could be really really big that um essentially burns off hundreds of of millions or hundreds of billions um and eventually gets to a point to where it could burn off trillions depending how big the game gets and i don't know what that game could be right it could be something as simple as brick busters or it could be something as complex as like call of duty or something right and creating skins and having skins to where those skins now you can burn off or she being you, know, you you pay to get those skins um and then you would burn off that revenue um, or at least a portion of the revenue towards uh, Shiba Inu. So obviously there are methods, there are things that need to happen, but I think this is a great idea. And um, you know, when we when we look at all the people around here, we look at all the people that uh, believe in a position like this. You have developers, you have people that are um, familiar with this space, that are familiar with um, you know game development and um, you know app development and you know, linking wallets to places. I'm not familiar with it because I've never built it, right? I've built a website way back when, but website, um, you know, building websites have become very easy and less coding involved. So it's not something you necessarily need in today's world, but um, there are people out there that know how to do all of this stuff and we could implement something pretty big here. Now, I don't know if it will happen, but the community, I think, needs to come together and build something before they decide to basically to say, hey, you know what, we're not going to do this. And we don't know if they can. We don't know if they will. We don't know if they'll just push it to the side or if they won't really address it. I don't know. Um, but it's definitely interesting that, you know, we haven't seen anything and it could take days before we even get some sort of mention. But anyways, um, let me know what you think about this. Is this a good idea or is it a horrible idea? Is it something that we should just throw in the trash? I don't know, but I think it could be good 
earning uh, coins as well as burning coins because you're able to gain on the way up and you're also able to uh, burn. It depends how much you play. And the more you play, the more revenue is driven and the more that we can do for everyone, right? And it should be split um, by the wallets you know, that are playing, right? If you're playing a thousand games a day and somebody else is playing five games a day, you obviously should get a very large portion of that earned amount um, and then also a larger per portion of that burned amount, right? And I don't know how that gets implemented, the burning, if it's going to be a mass burn or if it can do an individual burn to where it automatically would go from your wallet to where you can send the Luna to somewhere else or, or whatever. Um, but we'll see. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know your thoughts in the uh, comment section below. I'm going to get out of here um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.